Okay, we're going to convert video from a point-and-shoot camera that shoots 640-480, for an example, a Canon G10 or G11, and uh, we're going to convert it into DV video so that we can edit it in Final Cut Pro or Express. So, here is a video I shot of my dog. I'm going to take this video and I'm going to drag it into MPEG Stream Clip. You can download MPEG Stream Clip, just Google it. So, uh, here's my video, it's 29 seconds. Now, MPEG Stream Clip can do some very simple uh, editing, which is great. Let's say I wanted my video to start here. I would push I on my keyboard. Notice it's gray here now. And say I want the video to end here. I'll hit O. I, O, in, out. Now, if I go to Edit, Trim, I've trimmed it down to just that portion. Now I'm going to go to File, Export to QuickTime. Now, if you have multiple files, you can go to List, Batch List, and select multiple files. But here I'm just going to do one. Export to QuickTime. Compression is going to be Apple DV right here, Apple DV slash DVC Pro. So you select this codec, 100% quality, uncompressed audio, 72480. We're going to set the frame rate to 29.97 frames per second. We're going to turn on frame blending. So uh, many point-and-shoot cameras shoot at exactly 30 frames a second, and we need our video to be 29.97. Um, so we're going to turn off interlaced scaling, and we're going to hit Make Movie. Now, uh, it's going to want to save in the same spot. I can't give it the same name, so I'll call it Converted. Uh, and I'll hit Save. Now, again, if you had multiple files, you would have gone to Batch List and selected the multiple files, say where you want to save them. Uh, there we go. So, there we go. Video's converted. I can close and pick Stream Clip. So now I have this converted file. Now, you could drag this file right into, into Final Cut, but you'd have to render every, every it before you do anything, and that's quite annoying. So that's why we're converting. So we launch Final Cut Pro or Express. We go to File. No, sorry, we go to Final Cut Pro, Easy Setup. Now, before I was shooting an HD video, I'm going to change this to NTSC DV. So this makes my settings for Final Cut to be the same as the setting of the video I just converted. When you have to render files before you watch them, that's because your video is in a different format. And when I say render, I don't mean render at the end. I mean, like, when you drag a clip in, it's red because it needs to be rendered. That's because that clip is a different file format. So here, everything is the same. DV video, DV settings, setup. I'm going to go new project. Uh, always, always, always save your project. Whatever, I'll just call it test. Okay. Now I'm going to go File, Import Files. I'm going to select my converted file or files, hit Choose, and there. Now we can take this file, double click, and here it is. It's good to edit. I can again hit an I, an O, drag it in, do another I, another O, drag it in. Do a little crossfade, do a Apple T fade in, Apple T fade out, and here's our little video.